Hello, this is John, AE5X, and I wanted to make a short video demonstrating the capabilities of the Hard Rock 50 HF amplifier when used with an Elecraft KX2 transceiver. I built this kit about two weeks ago and have mainly been using it on FT8 with a different radio, but when I bought the kit I also ordered the QSK option and the KX2 KX3 interface option so that I could use it with full QSK being maintained or being retained on the KX2 and um, also have band switching occur automatically on the amplifier when, uh, when I change bands on the KX2. So I wanted to make a video demonstrating that and uh, just showing how it all works together. To enable those capabilities, two menu options have to be changed in the Hard Rock 50 and two menu options have to be changed in the KX2. So let's take a look at those starting with the Hard Rock 50. To access the menu, push and hold the key mode switch and then I scroll up and the first thing we want to change is the baud rate. To access that menu we hit the mode switch again and now we can change the baud rate to whatever it needs to be and it needs to be 19200. <clears throat> So we accept that by hitting the mode switch again and then continue up to the KX3 serial. Even though I'm using a KX2, I have to make this menu say yes. If it didn't and it won't when the amp is new, it'll come up saying no for the first time. So just make it say yes, accept it, and there's one more thing to check, and that is you want FT817 mode to say no because we're not using a Yaesu FT817. So once that's done, we're finished with the menu options in the Hard Rock 50. So we'll continue on up to the beginning where I can exit the menu and get back to the normal receive display of the amplifier. Okay, now we have to set up the KX2. Okay, to set up the KX2, the first thing we want to do is Again, go into the menu by pressing and holding the menu switch, and then we go to RS-232. All these menus are in alphabetical order. And then we want to make that 19200, just like we did in the Hard Rock 50. Accept that. And then we want to go to Auto INF. And you'll notice it's not there. To access Auto INF, you have to be in the tech mode. So, tech MD. Turn it to on, accept it, and now we'll try to find Auto INF. And there it is. And we want to make that say antenna control tells me it's locked and to unlock it press and hold the frequency button for three seconds. Antenna control. Okay now we're all set up. Let's put the rigs together see how they operate. Okay I've attached the Hard Rock 50 to the KX2 via the serial port and the accessory jack serial port on the Hard Rock 50 and the accessory jack on the KX2. And I've got a pair of paddles plugged into the KX2 and also a 40 meter dipole. But first of all, before we do anything, I want to check out and make sure that the band tracking is working properly. So, let me go from 40 meters up to 30. See if the Hard Rock 50 follows. And it does. Notice it's not instantaneous, it takes about a second. Okay, back on 40 meters. Let me give it some volume and let's check out the uh, QSK first. Let me take the amp offline and we'll Turn up the receiver, 
and just listen to the QSK of the KX2 without the amplifier being used. Okay, I've got the output power at about 1.6 watts out of the KX2. Let's put the amp online and see how QSK sounds and what kind of power we get out. 62 watts out for 1.6 in. And you'll notice that the TR keen, the timing, is about the same as it was without the without the amp in line. I love this amplifier both with the uh, <clears throat> with the QRP SDR rig that I use with it and with the KX2. I think it's going to make a great outdoor companion for. Uh, for the KX2 or any other QRP rig I want to bring along, but uh, with the automatic band switching and the QSK capabilities when used with the KX2, it's uh, an absolute gem. I'm so happy I bought it. Anyway, 73s, and thanks for watching.